my beam, you're safe forever So open up your heart and let the unity begin Love is all we need to make it stand Let's cultivate <laughs> Just as the, the president was elected and I, I was still trying to absorb what it's like to be a first lady and that's when Miss Brenda came into my life. So just imagine a school where the classroom barely have enough light and fresh air with seats far too fewer than needed, the roofs leaking and the ceiling damaged. On top of that, a sandy playground was here, infested with dangerous parasites. These parasites known here as Jika, enter the, the toes up on contact and cause pain and illness to all our children. This was exactly the situation about nine months ago when I visited the June Moore's Elementary and Junior High School. Thanks to Miss Brenda Moore for inviting me to attend to read stories to her children at her, in her children's program. Little did I know that my acceptance of this invitation would put a smile on so many faces. I was so impressed by the children's great job I was so impressed by the children's great job that I promised to treat them to ice cream the following Saturday. It was during my second visit that I discovered the deplorable conditions at the school. Like any of you would, seeing students sitting on the floor, I realized that I had to do something about it. Their eagerness to learn and passion for school, as demonstrated in their facial expressions, was enough to have triggered my intervention. As a mother and humanitarian, I could not leave without doing something. I felt I had to do something that would later serve as a pilot for other schools across our country. It is said that just as an unhealthy physical environment impedes learning, a healthy and well-designed school and classroom can benefit and boost learning. In this light, I am pleased to come back here at June Elmore Memorial School after nine months to dedicate our newly renovated facility. Indeed, I am happy that the virtually dark, dark, dark classrooms have been lighted up and well ventilated. The leaking roof and damaged ceiling replaced with new ones. Dear students, remember that my intervention was inspired by your eagerness to learn. The deplorable condition that June Elmore School faced months ago is common to many schools across Liberia. Several orphanages too, which I toured shortly upon assuming my role as First Lady, face the same problem, many of them are even worse. My students, your passion for learning, it, learning is strong. Keep the passion alive, never give up, never, never be complacent, never be happy with where you are, always try for more. Educate yourself, because your future lies in your education. You are the future of Liberia. In this public manner, I extend special thanks to Ms. Brenda Moore, CEO of Kids Educational Engagement Project. I make no promises, but eventually as time progresses and I'm able to get more help into my foundation, I will be able to build you guys a new structure. No promise, but that's what, that's what I do. So, like many say, I'm a woman of my word. I'm a 
hard-working First Lady, and I will work hard for you, the children of Liberia. Thank you so much. We've had many high-profile guests here over the years, and not many of them who made promises have lived up to their promises. So I will start by saying, Madam First Lady, thank you. On behalf of Keith and the students of Junior Law, thank you very much for being a woman of your word. You are one of those who never created a problem, but you saw a problem for the Nigerian people. May the Almighty God bless you, guide you, keep you, and solve all the problems in our country as well. I thank you. Well, I say thank you, Madam. Uh, we are. You and your husband are the blessing to this country and we must hold you in esteem for the hearts that the both of you carry for people you don't know. So I'm pleased to be here today to present to you 150 chairs, 150 tables, and 150 water bottles for the children. You take care of things. Madam President, I wish you every day to have a new for the new when you are in school year. Madam President, Telling students to go bring their own chair and sit was very bad for the institution. We are sitting, you know, go through the windows, trying to just give knowledge. Mm. So, really, she came to our crowd and then she brought some chairs to try to get a seat on her class. But also, I really appreciate your work. Mm. Uh, I want to say thank you to the first lady for the GM also. Mm. For you know, the, making the school go extend to that, that level, that okay. same field level, making the school better. Because of that, more students are coming, you know. And then, so I just want to tell her, thank you, big thank you. I want most of the people I want to get to the future in the only sense in that, but with the future leaders you know, are coming. I think I have been very impressed by about the fact that what we have saw and what have been demonstrated, it speaks. All on that the first lady has labor her promise. Uh, since 1969, you were funded. We have never gotten the kind of opportunity that we have received. So as representative of the parents and of the school, we are overwhelmed today that the first lady came and brought smart to our faces so that our children, the community, will maintain the project. We are very happy with the donation of the first lady today.